What's going on YouTube? We got a guest today. Instead of Kyle, we have Brody. So as you can imagine, it's been an eventful nine months for me bringing this big guy into the world and I'm happy to report his bulk is going well. And today I figured I'd take some time to talk about staying fit as a new father because there's a lot to unpack here. I don't like to talk about things that are outside my realm of expertise. That's why I've waited a reasonable amount of time before making this video to showcase to you how I've coped as well as how I've progressed. I've actually gotten in the best shape of my life during this time period. As you can see here, Obviously, I have the advantage of having been training for quite some time now, but using the principles I'm outlining in this video, my goal is to help further fathers improve and not only be great in that process, but be great for themselves, their fitness, and be able to be around for a long time for their little ones here. He seems pretty shocked by all the lights and pretty chill, so we'll keep him here as long as he's willing. But first and foremost, the big thing is you need to understand what's gonna happen. So maybe you're watching this, your wife's pregnant, your girlfriend's pregnant, whoever, and you have this crazy future thing coming up. The first thing I think you really need to do is understand you need to be stronger. So my number one takeaway and my biggest tip and trick during this whole process was understanding that I needed to level up. I need to level up my mindset. I need to understand that I needed to do more with less. So you're gonna be having less sleep. You're gonna be having more challenges, less time. All these different things are gonna be going on. So you need to be really smart and have a plan towards it. So my first attitude was, I'm gonna make sure to make that time to get into the gym, no matter what it is, whether I need to wake up earlier, go to bed late at night, whatever it may be, that was probably the biggest game changer for me and just understanding I need to do what I need to get done. Even recently I saw a short and I absolutely loved it and it said there's no power in being in your excuses or being in your feelings. Someday, well there can be at times, but some days you can be in a mood, you can be in your feelings, you can be in your thoughts and it can just be important to go get done what you need to get done. So take care of the little one, do what you need to do, be there to support your partner and then make sure you're there to support yourself. I always use the analogy that if an airplane's going down, they tell you to put on your first face mask, uh, your face mask on first, so you can help the other ones around you. Oftentimes, we think we're doing great by saying, "Okay, I just had my child. I'm going to spend three months, not go to the gym, not eat healthy, just order takeout, do whatever it is, and just raise an incredible child." But that time is going to snowball. It's going to get away from you, and you can snap your fingers. You'll be in my stage about nine months now, and you'll say, "What the heck? I'm so out of shape. I don't have these habits." And it'll be the attitude and the expectation that you understand. Instead, if from the start you say, I'm gonna just approach this from a different mindset, I'm gonna go all in, I'm gonna find these solutions, you'll be in a great place. So that's my biggest takeaway is that tip. And a few actionables that I'll say you can actually do with this are also combining. So giving your partner breaks, being able to spend time, try and do it in an intelligent way. Like how can you mix activities? So even eventually you can baby wear these little people, as you can see on the screen, which is absolutely awesome. You can be out there getting in your cardio. I think it's even important for them to see the world. So pushing them around in a stroller, being not afraid to walk around to add in the mall, like walking with a baby, it's absolutely awesome. And it's a lot of fun and the more you can get creative and combine these tasks the better doing home workouts having them laying there and understanding maybe it'll take you twice as long with crying with breaks with other things but just having the attitude that you're gonna always find solutions so for me my biggest takeaway was always looking for solutions to get done what I needed to get done and a metric of being fit one of the easiest ways you can do it track your food having them shouldn't impact your food at all you should be able to control nutrition more than ever even for me just doing things i can do to support so every morning i'll make our breakfast nice and easy nice and constant lots of protein a lot of healthy options in there it takes some of the guesswork out and now every morning we're not saying what do we need because we're already focused on what he's eating all these different things so having that in the morning has been such a great help and then in general with nutrition as a new father this is where you need to be more locked in than ever you're going to be more tired more irritable, more stress, and you're gonna wanna just be like Cam with a DoorDash. Instead, say I'm gonna eat healthier than I was before. So my thing was, most people I find when they have a new challenge in their life, they'll go a step down, they'll kind of compromise the quality of a lot of their actions. And instead, I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna to try to train a little bit longer, do a little more steps, uh, eat that much healthier, be that much more accurate with my tracking, and do everything I can in my control to have a good sleep. And of course, that gets impacted. And when shots would be fired at me and things, challenges were in front of me, I would just find a way to work through them and or around them. And within that, I had quite a lot of success. And there's been ups and downs. And you need to understand not every day can be perfect. But when you come at it with that attitude of wanting to do more, that's all it really needs to be. It can be so easy to get in the nitty gritty of things, but, and 
if you're not someone who's very self-disciplined and self-accountable, that's definitely <laughs> one benefit of mine. Okay, one sec, let's put this guy away. So as I was saying, if you're someone who's not super accountable to yourself, it's really important you have someone in your life that is because your partner's already doing so much, you need to be there to support them, support your baby, to do all these things. Having an accountability partner goes such a long way. So for me, I train with Kyle. We obviously have this business together. We're out there crushing it. And it's just absolutely amazing as well, owning a business of online coaches to hold you accountable, to be having people that motivate you, that inspire you to do more. And perhaps you don't have that. Perhaps you were fit before, maybe you were super fit, maybe you're not, maybe having a child threw you off and you came across this video. But there is an opportunity for you to have someone there to support you because when so much of your energy is going into your family, it's really important you make that investment to have someone put that energy into you because as I said, things can compound positively or they can compound negatively and that's where it will be in your control. But by making an investment in yourself, getting a coach, you can learn more about our coaching in the first link down below. I'd love to help you out as I have helped out a lot of other fathers through this process before and during having it. And I knew even before I had a baby that the principles would be the same. And one thing I do wanna say is, Everyone's situation is so different, but we need to use the cards we're dealt with. For me, I'm really lucky. I have a super happy baby. He took to sleep training. There's a lot of things going my way right now. And I know for a lot of people, there can be more variables, more challenges, more obstacles. Maybe you're a single father with just your baby. like, And there's so much more and like it's tough. And those are way more challenges than I've had to go through. But at the end of the day, pointing fingers and saying, I have all these challenges, so I can't do it. You're only hurting yourself and taking away from your potential. Instead, you gotta say, I have all these things against me, but I'm still gonna find my way to succeed by doing this or this or making this shift, whatever it may be. And as long as you have that attitude, I'm confident you can continue through. And once again, I don't wanna speak past my experience because it's only been the nine months, but I've really worked hard to make this nine months beneficial, to make sure I'm in great shape, to make sure I'm gonna be healthy, fit, and happy for the rest of my life. And if you wanna learn more how to do that, I can coach you personally one-on-one -on -one through that process. Fitness, nutrition, as well as accountability. I always like to say, if you think of a stool, I'm on a chair. I believe this chair's got like three swivel wheels. So even think of a stool with three legs. So think of fitness, think of nutrition, as well as think of accountability and kind of goal setting, planning, all, all those themes, kind of the mindset, let's say. So fitness, nutrition, mindset. If I come and rip off one of those legs of that stool, that stool is not gonna be good. You're probably gonna fall, it's gonna be really shaky. Any small movement, you're gonna be on your butt. You take away two of those, you're seriously gonna be on your butt. And when most people enter this new position in their life, they get so consumed with the responsibility that they will neglect their training, they will neglect their mental state, they will neglect their nutrition, and they have nothing to fall on. And it's what we conceptualize and normalize as just being the static response that we'll have to future challenges. But when you can have that challenge, push through it and find solutions, it will go a long way. So this video wasn't as actionable as some of our videos of do this, do this, do this, do this, but I didn't wanna to speak to too much of that because I know there just are a gazillion variables. And the biggest thing here is for you to have a mindset to say, I'm gonna just power through this. When times are tough, I'm gonna keep hammering. I'm gonna do what I need to do to get done. And I think that's a big part of what being a man is and what being a father is. And now setting that, that attitude for your child. I heard a quote and I really loved it. And I just wanna end with this. And it's, imagine telling your child that they're the reason and they're, they're the reason you're not fit and you're not healthy. Because so many people say, oh, I have this, I have my baby, that's why I can't do this. And imagine putting that blame on them. That would be a ridiculous notion. So instead, we need to own up and get done what we know we can get done. We need to embrace that challenge. We need to persevere through it. And if you love this video, please let me know if you have anything you wanna add or any questions or any comments or feedback for me, go ahead, pop it down below. I did a similar video post hernia surgery and it was responded really, really well and I did that to help people feel a little bit more comfortable with the process. And if you're someone who's like super into fitness already and you're having a little one and you're super nervous and excited, just know it'll be amazing. It's 100% worth it. It's the most amazing thing of your life. Like I'm so thankful it's the most positive, incredible thing that's happened to me. 
but of course there are challenges that come alongside that and that's okay there's challenges with everything and it's so worth the challenge and it will just make you greater because of it especially when you make that effort and put in that work and at the end of the day that's what it all comes down to so i really do hope you enjoyed this video uh, i'm definitely happy to make more or make more specific videos or talk more about my individual process that i've done to ensure my success as well as some of the common obstacles and how i overcome them biggest takeaways though Pretty much do stuff while they're sleeping. Be there to support your partner. Uh, try and interact or men, fitness and baby activities when you can, i.e. going on long walks, baby carrying, doing incredible things like that. Uh, even sometimes like I'll do my abs while he's on the ground playing with his toys and I'll stop and play with him too. And it, it may kind of take away from some of the quality of that movement and that's okay, like of that abs session or something like that. But it's fun, I just take a break, I play with him and I enjoy it and it's just me being able to spend more time with him, stay fit, be around longer, set a good attitude, and be my best self. And nutrition, more than anything, is something you can easily control just by having some discipline. But once again, I'm more than happy to jump into this in more detail, but I just wanna say thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, exciting news, I was pumped to share it. I wanna talk a little bit about my experience to be of encouragement and hope and give some positive mindset i guess just advice for all the people that will be in this situation in the future so thank you for tuning in once again if you liked it please smash the like button subscribe i haven't been uploading as much on youtube but we're really excited to bring our presence back here strong get back more content than ever and really just put up some incredible stuff so peace out